I've never been one to be prepared. I'm, I'm very much a fly by the seat of my pants girl. Sometimes that works out well when I'm just being creative, but in regular life, it can really get me into some tough situations. With some simple preparation and the use of Debbie's DIY clay and chalk paste paint, I'm gonna turn this once wreck of a dresser into something that will last a lifetime. My middle daughter was um, at a friend's house one evening and I was poking around in the basement of this man's house and saw this pink dresser over in the corner. I fell in love with the color. I fell in love with the details. So I brought it to the shop and it displayed beautifully, but nobody bought it. You wanna know why nobody bought it? It was all pretty on the outside, but I did nothing to prepare this piece for sale. The drawers were a mess. The backsplash was wobbly and loose. It had a really bad paint job. Let's check with your husband, who does the repairs, if it's a viable piece. <laughs> yeah, well, true. You need to assess any problems with it before you do any, as far as repairs, mm -hmm. nicks, bumps, bruises, bangs. You can see that years of bad paint jobs were what dominated this pretty pink dresser. Chipping paint, drips, paint in places that it shouldn't be. Let's fix this. It's so easy. I just used my orbital sander and smoothed out those rough areas, cleaned up the sides of the drawers, and made the surface more acceptable to apply a fresh coat of paint. Clean, thoroughly clean when you're done. Sand it 10 more times. No, I'm <laughs> I use a heavy duty cleaner to get rid of 150 years of dust, spider eggs, cobwebs. Yeah, clean it up well, inside and out, sides of the drawers, underneath, inside the rails. Her friend's house was just across town. Just, so I thought, well, I was already in my pajamas. Um, I threw my bathrobe on and threw on a pair of like Keds or something and no gloves, nothing like that. And out the door I went, turned down the quickest street, quickest way to get to um, Katie and my car ran out of gas. So what did I have to do? I actually, I walked home. I didn't have a cell phone. I was in my pajamas. I had kids on my feet. And I walked about a half a mile home. Debbie's DIY can be used over just about any surface with very minimal or no prep. I chose petticoat pink so that I could maintain that pretty vintage pink color that was originally on this dresser. I love the results of petticoat pink on this dresser but I felt like it needed just a little bit more personality. So I'm gonna try my hand 
at some paint blending. The easiest way for me to blend is to lay out the two colors that I want to blend together. I just put them on a paper plate, spray my surface with water, and dip my brush one side in one color, the other side in the other color, and just blend both sides of that brush so that the paint kind of melds together. Then I'm going to apply it to the areas where I want to add that additional color. Here I'm using Cherry Picked just to deepen the color along some of the drawer edges. This is Monet's Garden. It's a really soft, sagey green. I wanted to just add some hints of a contrast color here and there. I didn't want to overdo it, but I gotta tell you, the real trick to doing this blending thing is to blend it on your brush, on the plate, really well before you apply it to your furniture. You don't need a lot of paint. I think overblending is probably my best rule of thumb to get those really soft transitions. I just blend, 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 and mist as I need to to keep the surface just slightly damp. I'm blending and blending, misting where I need to just to keep that paint moving, and I'm going back and forth, continuing to blend on my brush and then on the dresser. One of the other things that I really love about Debbie's DIY clay and chalk-based paint is that it has a very long open time. What does that mean? It means that even after the paint has dried, but before it's cured or has a top coat on it, I can come back and reactivate that paint. This allows me to accentuate the highlights. I can deepen the shadows where I want to. and add additional pops of color. Here, I'm using Cowboy Coral, just to add a little something extra. I certainly didn't want to ignore those beautiful carved details. That was one of the things that attracted me to this piece to begin with. So I used some white swan and a detail brush to just add a little bit of color in all of those indented carved areas. Probably should have flares in my car and a, a warm blanket and and um, I know that I should keep my gas tank filled but for some reason it's always the last thing that I do. Remember when we lived on North Gravel Road and, and we actually we were just about ready to watch Survivor and I had to go pick up Katie and so I went to get her and I was in my pajamas, bathrobe, and yes, it, it was snowing outside, and I ran out of gas. Shows how perfectly prepared you are all the time. After I let my piece rest for a few days, I applied a finishing coat of Debbie's DIY Clear Furniture Wax. I'm rubbing that wax into the surface of the paint and then I'm going to buff it to bring it up to a really pretty shine. This is going to protect my piece. It's not stinky wax. Really, the 
was a really smart guy who once said, if you give me six hours to chop down a tree, I'm gonna spend the first four sharpening the ax. <laughs> was Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Preparation is key, whether it's in life, whether um, it's in the winter, no matter what, even when you're doing furniture, it is so much better to spend the time on the front end of a project, getting rid of all of those old paint drips and making sure the drawers work well. Yeah, all of that. Oops. <laughs> Are you still filming this? Yeah, it'll be edited, don't worry. I see. The drawers, that's part of repairs. True. You know, I'm gonna say not, you know, sp speaking for Ellen J. Goods, uh, we repair thoroughly. Your customer is really going to appreciate that too. We like to send somebody home with a piece of furniture that they can put directly in their house. We like to think that we are creating an heirloom for the future. And the only way that we do that and we know that we can give somebody something that they will keep for a lifetime is to prepare that piece in advance. I need to check with you, even if it has really pretty curves. Yeah. Okay. I checked with myself when I saw you. You get pretty curves. <laughs> you can purchase all of the Debbie's DIY clay and chalk-based paint and finishes at our store in Medina, New York, or at ellenjgoods.com.